Well, welcome to day two on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I'm Randy, this is Julie. Our goal is to travel all 469 miles of the Blue Ridge Parkway over a span of four different days. Today, we're gonna to be starting at mile post number 139 and going to 272. All right, thanks for joining us. We're in Virginia, we'll finish in North Carolina. Let's go. <laughs> that is one impressive waterfall, isn't it? Apart from the internet, there's no way we would have found this one. Listen very carefully. Mabry Mills, you know what to expect? No. <laughs> I forgot. All right, camera's still rolling. I think we'll turn it off now. Oh, man. It's always a great day when you can begin your day in the Appalachian, or as I'm told it's properly pronounced, the Appalachian Mountains. So our first stop this morning, mile post 139. Stop number two, mile post 144. The nice thing about getting out here on the parkway is that you're so far away from everything. There's like no lights, there's no anything that reminds you of civilization. It's so rustic and just feels healthy. Yeah, I mean, how, the fresh air. How, how often can you drive over 450 miles and not see a neon light? Yeah. I mean, basically, other than the blacktop, nothing is man-made. That's right. Very peaceful. It very is. Very relaxing. Very peaceful. We're at the Saddle Overlook Trail, and we have a special surprise for you. If we can find it. And there's never such a thing as a level hiking trail here off the Blue Ridge Parkway, be forewarned. I think I see it. Apart from the internet, there's no way we would have found this one. So park at the Saddle Overlook. You'll see a small trail on the south end of the parking lot. Take that trail uphill about two tenths of a mile and you will arrive at the shelter. This is a really cool place, but really all we know about it is that it's one of the original shelters they used when they were building the parkway. Play cheese. If you're looking for a place with a lot of great hiking trails, drive about one mile south of the Saddle Overlook and you'll hit Rocky Knob. It's basically a complex of different parking lots and a number of hiking trails that look phenomenal. But right now, we are off to one of our most anticipated stops. So mile post. 176, I believe, right? Mabry Mills. You know what to expect? No. <laughs> it's been hyped up. This should be one of our key stops on the Blue Ridge Parkway. All right, so what do you think? You want the cinnamon? Let's go with the cinnamon apple butter. Or How's that sound? Or regular. Regular apple butter? Let's go cinnamon apple butter. There you go. Oh, look at this one. Pumpkin butter. Oh wow, look at that. Moonshine jelly. You want to trade it in for some moonshine jelly? No. <laughs> <laughs> Built in 1910, operated until 1936, the most photographic feature on the Blue Ridge Parkway. The short trail around the site allows visitors to view the grist mill, sawmill, and blacksmith shop. Mabry Mill was built by Edwin Boston Mabry. So this is another famous structure here. This is called Matthew's Cabin. Actually, it was relocated here back in 1956, log by log. But it just gives you a feel of what the Appalachian culture looked like back then. Edwin Mabry was known as a peaceable, hardworking, and honest man. He was committed to his Baptist faith. 
He passed away in 1938, and the National Park Service purchased this property from his wife Lizzie. The site was restored to commemorate the region's rich heritage. If you want to come here, listen very carefully. Past milepost 180, make your immediate left, route 600, a right 602, you'll see the trading post. Let's go check out Mayberry Trading Post. If you go through the threshold, through that door there, right on the left is the original post office boxes. 40, 41, 42, and 43. Yeah, that's neat. <laughs> this place is almost more of a museum than a store, you know? Show the tie chair. I believe All right, you got blueberry jam. I like blackberry jam. How about black bear jam? <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go with blueberry. One of the nice things about driving on the Blue Ridge Parkway is having some kind of planned itinerary, which we do, but it's also interesting just to pull over and see things that look interesting along the way. And this is another one. There's just a tower. We didn't know what it was. I think it's milepost 189, Groundhog Overlook, I believe it is. But we're gonna go check it out. Keeping it spontaneous, planning some time in there for last minute decisions also makes for a very nice trip on this parkway. Come on inside. <laughs> After you. These steps are like walking up in a fun house. Wow, they're slanted and at different heights. <laughs> it's a little off. Yeah. Filter. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very level up here. So this cabin right here belonged to Aunt Hawks Puckett. And she lived here roughly 102 years. She was actually a midwife and she delivered over 1,000 babies, charging anywhere from one to six dollars per delivery. She's known as a witty person, cheerful in her personality, very unselfish, and very skillful in her practice. It's called the All-American Road. The parkway is America's longest linear park, and it runs through 29 counties in Virginia and North Carolina. If you're looking for a place to stop off and grab a bite to eat, we're in Fancy Gap right now. That's near the town. It is Highway 52, I believe. Is that correct? And we're at the Gap Deli. And uh, what do you got, Julie? I have a Monterey chicken. chicken Monterey. Monterey. Monterey chicken. And uh, you want the Reuben. You always talk me into getting the Reuben. I like the Reuben. So here we are. Again, if you're looking for a place, lunch or dinner, along the Blue Ridge Parkway, this is like one mile off the parkway. Nice spot to stop at. Definitely worth the wait. Very good sandwich. So I've mentioned this before in my videos. When you do national park trips, you got to remember, you got to be realistic that nothing lines up exactly as you want it to go. 
There's no such thing as a perfect national park trip. And on this trip, I'll give you another illustration of that. We have been so blessed out here. The weather has been phenomenal. I think we hit peak colors with the trees, but due to COVID, here we go again, 2020, certain places have been closed. And one of them is right here at milepost 213. This behind this barricade is the Blue Ridge Music Center. That would have been nice to experience some of the sounds of the Appalachian culture, but not in 2020. So right around mile post 217. Welcome to North Carolina. All right, so what are we doing here? We're getting cider, finally. <laughs> Mile marker number 259. This used to be called Sally Mays Deli. Now it's called Find Outdoors. We found ourselves some hot apple cider. I'm so happy we finally found hot apple cider. We're sitting outside on the Blue Ridge Parkway, sipping hot apple cider on a fall day. This is relaxing. <laughs> We wanted the sights and the sounds and the tastes of the Appalachian culture. Because of COVID, as you know, we haven't got much of the sounds, but at least we're getting the tastes. We're tasting it. And we've enjoyed the sights. Yeah. It's been a great day. Yeah. Great day. Cheers. All right. You can just pretend. Oh, I just burned my tongue. <laughs> Why didn't you warn me? <laughs> ah, I'm not used to hot drinks. <laughs> ah, got that fuzzy feeling. Oh, that's terrible. You don't drink hot drinks ever. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> All right, camera's still rolling. I think we'll turn it off now. Oh, man. Cascades Trail, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> so much enthusiasm for our last stop and hike of the day. And we're a mile post what? I can't remember when you asked me like that. I have no idea. I don't remember either. Uh, All right, I think it's 271.9. The thing about this trail is it's very well taken care of and they have all the little plaques on the side that tell you what kind of trees there are. Lots of different tree varieties and it identifies them. I'll tell you what. <laughs> That is one impressive waterfall, yeah. isn't it? It's amazing. Yeah. Wow. You don't expect it to drop so so down so long. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, all I can get right now is that this is the Cascade on Falls Creek. It sure is pretty though. And as we enjoy the sunset, just a reminder that our complete four day itinerary is listed in the description below. All right, that'll do it for day number two here on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Thanks for traveling with us this far. Uh, if you haven't seen day one, that's uploaded already. We'll get day three and day four up there also as well very shortly. But four days on the Blue Ridge Parkway, all 469 miles. But that's it for today. We'll leave you with a time lapse of the sunset over the mountains. And remember, there's always room for you on every national park adventure. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. Take care and good night.